Hey guys, Christopher Green, AMTV Alternative Media Television. God bless all of you tuning in. Please share this video far and wide. This is a critical emergency update as things are changing very rapidly and very fast regarding this biological terror weapon that is COVID-19 and the coronavirus. Now it is clear for any of you out there that have really looked at this, not only do we know is it a biological weapon, but in addition to that, this is being used as a scapegoat for the crash, the intentional engineered pre-planned implosion of not just the US stock market, but global stock markets worldwide. In fact, I was meeting with an individual last night and he was telling me just that. So I'm not the only one that thinks that. I think it's pretty obvious that's what the global elites are doing because again, they don't wanna take the fall for all this debt. They don't wanna take the fall for all these bailouts and 0% interest rates and operation twists and quantitative easing. So the bankers are trying to run away with it, so to speak, blame coronavirus as if that's the real reason for the slowdown economically, worldwide, as a result of quarantines and all these kinds of things. Now I've talked about this for a very long time now. This is a part of the agenda and they will reset the fiat monetary system. I think this is what's happening now. And as we look forward to next week, I don't think we've seen any of the real selling yet. I mean, I'm looking for a washout. I'm looking for people's hair on fire where they never want to touch another U.S. stock again. Then you'll know, okay, that there's been enough pain. So I'm expecting multi-thousand point drops from here. I'm expecting, as we've seen, Robinhood go down, a major brokerage exchange here in the United States. Basically, no one could log in for multiple days due to excessive volume and an excessive selling by retail investors. Now, keep in mind, Wall Street's already out. Okay, they've passed the hot potato to you tuning in. They did the same thing in 2008 and 09, and they're doing the same thing now. I mean, some of them have been suffering physical ailments. Like I mentioned, Jamie Dimon the other day, suffering heart problems and having to have emergency immediate surgery. So coronavirus, just to reiterate, it's the least of our concerns right now. The entire global economy is crashing for a reason. And this is what these people intend. Also, what you need to be aware of is gross overreach by the government itself and the state. We're seeing this in China. We're seeing it with their tyrannical actions, quarantining individuals. In fact, a eight story hotel just collapsed and killed dozens of people where they were allegedly being quarantined by the state in China, as if no one's even asking any questions about that. Black rain, so did rain, was coming down in Japan on cars and vehicles and homes, hearkening back, people remember this, when the two bombs were dropped on Nagasaki and Hiroshima as a result of fallout. So why is that happening? As we've suspected and we've seen the heat maps in parts like China, are they incinerating and burning the bodies? Again, I encourage you to investigate this information for yourself, but understand, <clears throat> this is the agenda. Also, the White House is on lockdown and they have seized and stopped, ceased many foreign diplomat meetings. Again, Trump canceled his visit to the CDC just a couple days ago due to someone being allegedly infected there. So now the White House is on lockdown. And again, we have to pay attention to global leadership what are they doing? Now, this also plays into the tyranny of the state, the surveillance state, which is going to use this as a power grab over its citizens to quell political dissent in places like Hong Kong, to prevent it from hitting the streets of mainland China. Same goes for North Korea. Same goes for European nation with the Paris protesters and the Yellow Vest protest movement. Isn't it interesting that we've had a global revolution taking place and now suddenly it's at a grinding halt and now global leadership can quarantine its political enemies and those that dissent against them and no one can even say anything about it because they'll just accuse you of having the virus. It's like accusing you of being Jewish or accusing you of being anything for that matter. So we need to understand that this is gonna be used for gross government overreach. And to be honest, I'm more fearful of that. I'm more fearful of our government overreaching their power as a result of this. So I wanna get into some hardcore evidence today of what other nations are doing like Israel, now quarantining travelers from the most infected states like New York, which declared emergency today. There's now five states declaring emergencies, California and Washington. Meaning, if you're an American citizen and you're coming from those states and you wanna go visit Israel, they're gonna put you in jail. 
for 14 days and make sure you don't have the virus. Now, the fact that we're seeing in Israel is much more defensive and militant. It's arguably why it's one of the safest places in the world because it actually has a wall there. And I'm not saying things are perfect. I really don't want to get into the political debate, but it's normal for people to be walking around with AK-47s and they, people are familiar with getting shelled and bombs going off and these kinds of things. So they're very, very strict. And so we don't even have proper testing here in the United States. It's an absolute disgrace. Donald Trump can blame Obama, but that's only half of it. So there's really no border checks yet, but that's coming. So you need to understand what we're seeing internationally with international travel coming to a grinding halt. Hong Kong airport just being a total wasteland with tumbleweeds going by and you know, the few people that are there cleaning the place and sanitizing it, wearing masks, that these international restrictions, travel immigration restrictions are going to happen at a state by state level. So I talked about this, you need to prepare not only with food and water or make sure you have supplies. I think you should have at least six months. By the way, we're four to five weeks out on all of our survival food now. We are completely sold out six, three, one year, four year. It's been completely liquidated out of our inventory. And I'm still down to that one supplier. We do have a few 30, 60 day. That's all we got. I encourage you to click the link below, get it. Make sure you get it now because I'm expecting a total shutdown of our supply lines. We're also not talking about the shipping lanes coming into place like the Port of California in these kinds of places. That's coming to a halt. And I was warning you tuning in about this weeks and weeks ago because that's what my suppliers were telling me. And I have friends, very successful friends that own very successful companies, employ hundreds and hundreds of people that own manufacturing plants, places like China, Vietnam, all over the world. And they're telling me, Christopher, our manufacturing is still shut down in China. So not only is this going to have a grave economic impact, but it's going to have a physical impact for you tuning in. Rationing of toilet paper, goods, soap, medicine, antibiotics, flu uh, medicines, and all these kinds of things. You want to get this stuff now because that window is closing. And also understand if you're in one of these hard hit affected states, that might be okay, but don't expect to leave. I'm expecting armed border checks here in the United States, something America has never seen before domestically. Interstate movement restrictions. I'm expecting our government, as I've learned from history, to overreach their power, not just to basically contain citizens. And it's amazing, too, just the, the cognitive dissonance, people just enjoying their own slavery, saying things like, oh, no, they should ration this, Christopher. Uh, you, yeah, you should not be allowed to go to a different state. Oh, the state should quarantine you in a freaking prison. Like, are you listening to yourself? This is the United States of America, my friend. 1776, we fought an American revolt against a king. You know, I listen to some Americans, almost like they, they like the fact that there's a king or a queen in control of us or something. Like, they're not even listening to themselves speak. Again, we need to value as human beings, as our human God-given rights, entail our ability to travel freely if we want to, to make those decisions on our own, to defend our life and limb and property in these kinds of things, and to work within, you know, life isn't fair, but hopefully a system that is a republic here in the United States of America. I mean, we actually still have freedom here in the United States compared to these other countries like China. So don't let the government understand, a lot of us don't really have too much control over this, but they're gonna use it to their advantage. They're going to attack political dissidents, people that they don't like. Again, all they have to do is accuse you. This is like a witch hunt from the crucible. That's a witch. You know, tie his feet up with rocks and throw him in a lake. I mean, that's really what it's coming to. So armed border checks, problems moving state to state, and also quarantines by state. So that's what I'm expecting as we see this roll out in places like Jerusalem, the health ministry, considering adding the American states of Washington, New York, California, and many more to the list of places requiring 14 days of home quarantine. This is breaking now. Again, keep your eyes on Washington. Donald Trump, many fear he's going to be infected. I mean, this story keeps getting worse and worse. Also, if we look at the economic side of things, again, I'm expecting a washout. I think next week is going to be very volatile. We have just begun to see a little selling, but you've seen nothing yet. Again, you're not going to want, none of you should own U.S. stocks, in my opinion, not financial advice, but you'll know that we're in the midst of the Great Depression we've been warning you about when you never want to see another stock again because U.S. stocks are down 50%, 80%, and there's liquidity problems at the biggest U.S. banks, which we've been warning about for days now because, again, that's happening as well. Liquidity shocks, bank runs, 
cross-border armament, tyranny by global governments using this to their advantage for border immigration control and all these kinds of things. So I love you guys. Again, you know, I don't share this content so that you guys are in fear. Put all your faith in God. I don't understand the plan, but this is God's plan. This is our King's plan, Jesus Christ. I love you guys so much. Please put all your faith and salvation in Him. And also, you know, if this speaks to you, please prep. I mean, make sure you have food. Make sure you have medicine. Also, too, I wanted to alert you guys. We just got a brand new product into the store. All of our food is four to five weeks out. But this product, our AMTV Family Preparedness Package, five, seven business days. John, I just spoke with them so we can get it out right away. So take advantage of that while we have it. I have a limited supply on it. I think I'm going to sell out of this as well. But we just got this in. In the family preparedness package, uh, you basically get all of your preparedness needs for up to four individuals. Emergency supplies for your home, car. I mean, think about cross-border. If you want to get out of Dodge, get out of Dodge now is what I'm telling you. If you want to go interstate, do it now. Don't wait a week from now or a month from now when they're putting a halt to you crossing to different states or getting out of the states that are most effective. So it includes a one to four person elite bucket survival kit, 72 hours, food and water, has a five year shelf life and are meant to provide nutrition for up to 72 hours. It's really just kind of like an emergency kit, keeping your vehicles. I keep them in all of mine, no matter where I am in the world. In addition to my long-term food stock, which we do have a few 30, 60 day left, but that's it. 24, 44 ounce water pouches, 24, 400 calorie food bars, 9,600 calories, water purification tablets. That's a lifesaver. Highly encourage that. One liter of water, one liter hydration bags with a straw, emergency candle, bright stick, survival whistle, waterproof matches come really in handy if you need heat in these kinds of things. A four in one radio flashlight never needs batteries. It's a hand crank and so much more. So click the link below, see what you get in that package, order and reserve that kit. Don't just buy one, get two. Again, I've got a very limited supply on it and understand you need preparation like that in your cars, in your vehicles, the short term, you know, 72 hour survival supplies. If you've got to get on the move quick, you know, with your bug out bag, link in the description. And then in addition, you want long term food stock. So these are the daily preparations you should be taking. You should understand what's ahead. You have to understand this is very grave. Please prepare yourself, not just you know, financially, mentally for what's ahead, but also you should prepare with your finances. Again, we've seen nothing yet. It's going to get much, much worse. And it's clear the global elites worldwide and in this country are using the coronavirus as a scapegoat to implode the fiat monetary system and blame it for the largest financial crisis the world has ever seen. And I think what comes next is war. And I've warned about this for over a decade. Through war, there will be an economic reset. The embargoes that we've been negotiating, the trade deals with China, that's not a coincidence. We saw this World War II before the bombing of Pearl Harbor. We are at war now. Not really with the coronavirus, but with our financial system and global governments as we enter a brand new paradigm where Donald Trump, and I support our president, is more America first, centered on our own sovereignty, is we fight the globalist agenda worldwide that is pushing against Americana, liberty, everything that makes our country so great. So please protect that liberty and understand, protect that God-given human right to life and the pursuit of happiness. I love you guys so much. Also make sure to get out, get some fresh air, get some exercise. I did today, keep your body in shape. Your strongest defense is your own body's immunity. So take supplements, I mentioned honey that I'm taking here on the islands locally that's really good for you. Boost your immune system. Keep that in check so as more infections spread and we move from dozens that are being underreported right now by the mainstream media that we can't trust and it becomes thousands, tens of thousands, and then hundreds of thousands in America, that's when the real panic is going to set in. And you're going to have to evaluate your own self-quarantine, your own bug out or bug in plan and how you should prepare around that. So I love you guys. God bless. Jesus Christ is king. Click the link below. Get all that information that you need on our emergency kit. Share this video. Just get out everywhere because we know they want to suppress the truth. They're going to censor it. They're going to demonetize it. They're going to de-algorithm it. So it's totally up to you tuning in to get this truthful information out to people that you love, your friends and family, and that those of you out there that need it most. Thank you so much. Hey guys, with all the fears of the coronavirus and the CDC now warning, 
that they're preparing for a pandem pandemic here in the United States of America. I've been telling my friends and family to stock up on long-term food storage. I just had John and customer service lower our prices to at cost. Okay, so we're making pretty much nothing on the food stores that we're selling to you tuning in. 25% off, it's my promise to you, I'll get all this survival packs, the food storage, the water filters, any other thing that you order within three to five business days. Now, because of the crisis, I'm actually sold out on six, one year, and four year. We're completely out, it's gone. People have been stockpiling, and again, I've been warning about this for several months now. So I only have a couple food packs left. I encourage you guys, even if it's not for me, go buy it somewhere else then. But you, you won't beat the pricing here. Again, I've lowered my cost. So it's basically at cost, again, you know, shipping and handling all this kind of stuff. So it gets expensive sending it your way. I can only offer this domestically. We are not shipping internationally. So if you're in the continental United States, I will get this out to you right away. Again, very high quality food. I just bought about $1,000 worth more for myself and my family. It has a 25, 30 year shelf life, depending on how you store it. And it tastes great. And honestly, I use it from time to time if I'm out camping with friends or on leisure. And even if it's not a crisis, I really love and feel secure because it gives me peace of mind knowing I have this stuff on hand. Okay, so you want water filtration systems, you want food. And again, I took pricing down at cost today. I want to do a favor to you guys. And again, I genuinely am concerned about your well-being. So please take action while we have the supplies. I don't think it's going to last long. Again, I'm already sold out of the six-month, one, and four year. Get it now. Uh, as soon as you click that link below or go to store.amtvmedia.com, add it to the checkout. Don't just buy one, buy two. And I'll try to keep this inventory coming as much as possible. I do have some rever uh, reserves excuse me, at our warehouse. So again, take action. Don't live in fear, but understand that food is probably the most valuable commodity in a time of a crisis like this. I mean, at the end of the day, you've got to feed your family, especially for those of you out there that have kids. Make sure you have what they need. Food, staples, survival supplies, and a great start for a lot of you tuning in that don't have nothing, just get one of these kits. I love you guys so much, God bless. Thank you for your support. Again, I'll get all this stuff to you right away. Also, we pride ourselves in Midwestern values and customer service here. If you need to talk to anyone, you can give us a call as well, and we can you know, explain to you what we have left in stock and how to get that out to you as soon as possible. So thank you so much. I love you guys, and I hope all of you are prepared.